Is there any healthcare workers in this boat? We need help. Somebody. Is there any doctors, nurses in here? We need help. Somebody who knows CPR. We need to be like on yachts every day, sipping mimosas Where? in Miami. Hello, Peter. Yes, darling. Why did you call me? Sorry, I'm, I, I'm, I'm the one who called. I think my dad is oh, in pain. Okay. So how much pain do you have, Peter? My dad has a 7 out of 10 pain. Sorry, darling. Are you the patient? Is your father deaf or mute? Oh, he's no? not. Okay, so let your father talk. He can talk. Hey, baby, come on. Damn. Y you okay? Shh. Hey, besties. I'm here today to address all the allegations surrounding me, myself, and I. It has been a while since I kept my mouth shut, and I think it's time for me to shut down all these haters and yappers of the internet, because as we know, there's so many yappers of the internet who spreads misinformation and before it all spreads out I want you guys to hear it from me from my own mouth y'all I landed on nurse talk and the tea is boiling and I know you guys are here for it there is a nurse by nurse John if you guys don't know him he does skits he does he has a podcast he is just phenomenal he will brighten your day he is relatable. You don't even have to be a nurse to watch Nurse John because that's how relatable he is. And not only that, he is extremely entertaining. To sum up Nurse John, he is fantabulous. Now, why are we talking about Nurse John if everything seems good? Well, there has been controversy surrounding him on his TikTok and on Instagram because apparently a lot of people didn't know that he had a wife. Yes, he is married with a wife. He's straight. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Now back to Mean Girls. There is a lady, a nurse named Lex right here. Who, when she found out this information, it outraged her. To the point that she decided to set up a video and talk about how devastated and how queer baiting Nurse John is because he is a straight man. Let's take a look. Hey, this is all I'm gonna say because I have not fully processed this news. If you built your entire online career queer baiting and imitating a gay man and mocking women, doing skits where you are actively mocking women and imitating gay mannerisms, and then you come online and tell everyone you have a wife? <laughs> I want to be clear that I don't, I don't support, nor do I think it's fucking funny when gay men mock women um, or imitate women either, but it's especially sinister when you've been queer baiting and you're straight. <laughs> what? Anyway, just add that to the list. Add, add it to the fucking list. Not even just a wife, but it sounds like multiple queer creators have attempted to correct his behavior. And this is how this went down. I got this message from another large nursing page today about an interaction that they had as well as a different large creator when they attempted to educate John, a straight man, as to why it is harmful to mock queer people and women in his content. This is the second half of that message. It's Pride Month. It is Pride Month. And I need you guys to listen to gay people when they tell you that something is harmful. And a straight man deliberately portraying himself as queer for content is harmful. A straight man who ignores mutuals of his who are queer, who explain to him why it's harmful and then doubles down and continues making that content is doing it on purpose. It is not up to straight people like those of y'all in my comments to tell gay people that it's fine. As said in the beginning of this message, it is intentional baiting, he knows it. He has been spoken to about it multiple times. 
more than anything, I need you guys to pay close attention to the times at which he dresses up as a woman. How is that woman being portrayed? Is that woman being painted in a good light or is she the butt of the joke? You can say that, oh, it's just a nursing joke, but it's not. It is rooted in misogyny and to actively portray and act out gay mannerisms when you have been directed, redirected, and asked not to as a straight man is deliberate and it is wrong. Just for added relevance, because apparently I need to do this, I lived in Manila. I lived in the Philippines. I worked at a tuberculosis hospital in Tondo in Barangay 105. Not all Filipino men are feminine and it is absolutely fucking insane to even claim that. Like that's, that's fucking crazy. Here is me, right there, TBT to blonde Lex, working in a direct observation treatment service center in the Philippines for tuberculosis patients. Also me with Ace, my favorite person on the planet and an orphan that I tried really hard to take home. Ace had a TB infection of his T4 vertebrae, which is why he's wearing that back brace. He um, had really severely stented growth from that infection uh, and lived at the TB hospital with me and the nuns. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was there. I was there. <laughs> I lived there. I worked there. Um, I lived at De La Salle University. I took a jeepney to work every day. Um, I ate pan de sal and turon and adobo, like, I don't know what to tell you guys. This is all I'm gonna say. A lot was said there. First thing I wanna point out is that you probably watched Nurse John and you're probably loving Nurse John up until you realize that he had a wife. Second thing, he's always actually said that he has a wife. People have just not been paying attention. Thirdly, maybe I'm missing something, but there is no mockery of women in this video. Fourth, not everything is going to be about you. Not everything is gonna revolve around your world. Fifthly, is that even a number? Just because you lived in an area for work doesn't mean you actually went out and explored the area enough to know what is really going on in Philippines. And with that being said, if you cannot tell, I am not Filipino. However, I found a lady that explained it perfectly and she is Filipino. I'm gonna let her talk, let's get into it. If you built your entire online career, queer based Hi, my name is Althea, I'm queer, I'm Filipina, and almost all of my immediate family are, are nurses, so I just wanted to add a little bit of my perspective on the situation. First, I want to say Lex, this creator that I'm stitching, um, is doing great things, raising awareness for Palestinians. Um, you should go check out her profile, um, donate to causes, all of that good stuff. But I will say, I think her criticism of Nurse John is a little bit lacking, and let me explain why. First, we need to talk about the history of Filipinos and Filipino nurses specifically in America and why it is such a thing. So America colonized the Philippines after the Spanish colonized the Philippines and particularly in post-World War II, um, America had created a program that incentivized Filipinos to become nurses and to fill gaps that were left by Americans and the American healthcare workforce. So again, post-World War II, a lot of um, Filipino nurses were being encouraged, essentially incentivized to come to America and be nurses. And that's why we see so many Filipino nurses. Um, but at the same time, and again, 25% um, of Filipino adult workers in America are healthcare workers, frontline healthcare workers. So it's not just um, a stereotype, you know, it, it is coming from a certain place of truth in that sense. And again, it's a history of colonialism. It's a history of American involvement, all that stuff. With that being said, even though we have such a significant presence in healthcare, um, a lot of media fails to recognize that. You know, we have shows like Grey's Anatomy, we have all these doctor nursing shows, medical shows that don't have any Filipinos in them. So we're lacking that representation there. A lot of Filipinos have always wondered, why are we not represented in the media in this way? So I think that's where Nurse John comes in. Nurse John has had such a huge following on social media, partially because I think we don't get that representation anywhere else. And I feel like it is, um, 
a representation, again, that we are just lacking, that we are embracing when we see, which is why Nurse John has so many Filipino followers, why he has so many nursing uh, nurses following him. So there's that piece. Now let's go to the second piece about gender and sexuality um, expression. Everyone's saying, um, oh, you know, Nurse John is queer baiting, da 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 I think are missing two things. The first thing that they're missing is the Filipino culture. Um, and I, again, I recognize that Lex has spent time in the Philippines. Um, she was on a medical mission there, which has its own ethical and moral implications, but I'm not even going to go there. Um, but just because you spent a couple of months or however long she was there, I don't think that necessarily means you understand all the nuances of Filipino culture. And I'm not pretending that I do either, but I was born in the Philippines. And again, I have so many Filipino nurses and Filipino people in my life, my family. Um, so here's what I'm going to say about Filipino culture and sexuality. There are many Filipino men that are straight, but act more effeminate, especially from a Western viewpoint. And that's just the way it is. Again, there's a lot of nuance behind that, but I can't go into that in just a little TikTok video. So there's that piece. And the second piece is there is a lot of hypocrisy within the queer community of accusing straight men of queer baiting when they are just presenting themselves in a feminine way. And it's it's silly because why are we all of a sudden gatekeeping how, how people are allowed to present in their sexuality? That seems to me antithetical to being a supportive inclusive community so there's those two, those two pieces there again there's this nuance of filipino culture and how it intersects with queer culture and how all of that is in the background of this person nurse john has a huge platform because we filipinos recognize the truth the humor the familiarity the comfort in the videos that he makes i think his I think his videos are amazing, funny. I see my mom, I see my dad, I see my stepmom, I see my brother in these videos because that is the reality of us growing up and, you know, being in this culture that has, um, you know, that, that I grew up in basically. Again, this is not any hate to Lex. I'm just, or anyone else in the comments um, of her videos that are explaining their point of view. And I understand there are queer people that have had conversations with John, but I think there is this piece of Filipino culture, Filipino nursing culture that is missing from the the conversation that I just wanted to input. Again, Western people viewing certain Filipino men that are straight might see them as queer baiting, might see them as um, like they're strange, like why is he acting so feminine? But again, it's, it's very hypocritical in a sense because again why are we gatekeeping how people are allowed to present their sexuality especially from a culture which you are not necessarily fully familiar with but again i think lex is doing great things otherwise um i think that her particular criticism of nurse john is to me a little bit um it, it's more nuanced so that's all i have to say that was a very polite and educational way of responding to Nurse Lex as somebody that is Filipino. My sixth point is I had to dig very far to find this video of Lex. And my thing is, if you know you are right or you think you are right and you stand on your truth, why was the video taken down? If it means defending yourself for what you believe is right, then do that. I know it can be hard, especially when you're getting what you would consider hate comments, but if you stand by that point, then stand on it until the wheels fall off. I'm not sure why she deleted it, but clearly there must have been some lack of educating herself and nothing but her actually, would it be click baiting or rage baiting or queer baiting? I don't know. All I know is a lot of people love Nurse John. A lot of people love Nurse John. He has a huge following. And if anything, Lex just made it grow even more. And it's all growing in positivity. Now, before we get into it, to the point where a doctor actually speaks about this whole thing that is going on because nurses can be mean. But before we get into people defending Nurse John, Nurse John actually defended himself as well. We're gonna get into that later. Let's jump into some skits of him doing what he does. That's a y'all. 
That was my last straw. I am not staying another extra hour in this hospital wall. 5.59, if day shift doesn't show up here at 5.59, they're gonna get the report to the patient themselves. That's right, you heard it right, 5.59, because that's 6.59. I am not saving no damn nothing in this daylight saving thing, okay? I'm losing another hour of sleep. This is my fifth freaking shift. Hello, this is Pamela. Message for C. How can I help you? Girl, it's oh, me. Oh, shit. Hey, girl. What's up? Girl, are you home safe? Holy shit. How the fuck did I get home, girl? Oh, the police. The police, police? brought you home. Yeah. Wait, well, apparently that? they found you on a McDonald's parking lot. On a McDonald's? Yeah, they thought you were a hobo. Uh, what day is it today? Girl, it's Saturday. That was Thursday. Saturday? Yep. What time is it now? 5 p.m. Holy shit. I slept for a whole goddamn day. Oh, oh God. Oh, my back. Hi. Can I come in? It's your nurse. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Good evening, Mr. Oh my God, help us, Lord. Eh, I'm packing. What is going on, Michael David Smith? What's, what, what are we doing? I'm going home, my daughter called me. I beg your pardon. Your daughter? She, where is she? She was at the window, she just left. She said she's gonna be downstairs. She brought the kayak. There's still one spot there, you wanna come? Yep, sure, I'm coming. I have to ask my wife though for permission. Sweetheart. Can I bring the nurse with me? Who the f- Oh my god, it's gonna be a long ass night. She's right there. Can I bring the nurse with me? She looks like she needs some vacation. My dear, can you help me around here? Here, here, take, take it. Jesus, me lord. I need to go to the bathroom first. Well, lucky you missed me. You don't gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta catheter on. What? What catheter? Are you talking about this thing? This- ah! Okay, before we leave, help me fold this thing first, okay? Isn't this your job, my dear? Huh? Here you go, my dear. I think I need a nap. Oh God, finally. Okay, let's go to your bed. Oh, 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 oh. My dear, can you pass me the telephone there? I thought you're going to sleep. Why do you need a telephone for? I have to call my son. He forgot to trim the grasses. You are absolutely right, Mr. Smith. We should be trimming grasses at 3 a.m. Let me get my lawnmower, okay? So again, I don't understand where the mocking of women is and feel free, get on TikTok, get on Instagram, get on his podcast and just watch all his content. And if I was wrong in saying that he doesn't mock women, come back and let me know and I will swallow that pill. And if I'm right, you don't even have to come back because you probably won't. But if you do, Cool, I appreciate it. Let's get into people defending Nurse John. So I've been seeing the nurse drama that's currently happening on TikTok, and I just wanted to weigh in from the perspective of a doctor or a resident doctor. When I first started residency, I remember getting the advice that some nurses will bully you, and that is something you just have to tolerate being a doctor or being in the medical field. And I'm not saying that all nurses are bullies. My mom's a nurse, but even Speaking to her, she's talked about some of her nursing colleagues who are not the kindest people to work with day to day. And I also think that doctors can also be bullies and create a toxic work environment. But I think there is this accepted culture among nurses that people can be rude to other colleagues, can be bullies, and that is acceptable. And I think that has to change because to provide good care for patients, I think we all need to be good colleagues to each other, not bully each other and really just respect each other. So to all nurses out there, I love you and I hope we can work together and you can get along with colleagues and we can all have a great time taking care I'm gonna tell y'all one thing we're not gonna do and that's question a man's sexuality based off of what we've seen on the internet. Second order of business, Nurse John. 
Do you want to be best friends? My qualifications are I'm a registered nurse. Um, I need your help with skincare and I love your fashion. So, what do you say? Are you going to give me an invite to the friend group or not? That's all I need to know. Cheers. Oh yeah, and the most important part I left out, I won't talk shit about you. I don't know if you guys have seen that Nurse John beef that's going on right now or, or whatever, but I swear I've heard him say he's had a wife like multiple different times, so I don't know why y'all are just catching on to that now. But yeah, give it the fucking times. That man has had a wife. That man has had a wife. I, were, you're shocked? I, 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 I swear I've heard him say he has a wife. I swear I have. Because when I heard the news this morning, I was like, and the punchline. Where's the punchline? They just kept talking and I was like, Y'all didn't know he was married to a woman? And there you have it. Before we get into his response for all of this controversy that is going on around his name, he actually has a YouTube channel slash podcast that you guys can watch, Nurse.John. And this is a snippet that I found of his that he had posted on TikTok. Let's take a look. I was born in the Philippines. And I was raised by a single mother. My mom is one of the biggest influence in my life that I wanted to do something where, where I can give back and care for another life. So I wouldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for my mom. My second influence, my grandparents, but like my grandpa was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. I always say that he, I didn't need any dad because my grandpa, my, my ama was my dad. He was there for every single part of my life and he always tells me like you you might not have a dad but you have me I'm sorry guys the second semester of nursing is when it was i guess tougher for me because then one of my uh instructor my professor set me down and she told me that maybe i should reconsider another profession and i was literally weeping in her office because I could never imagine how a professor could just tell that to someone that maybe this is not for you. It was a care plan project that I keep getting wrong that she thinks that I should not be a nurse and that I should try to see or find another path. I beg your pardon. <laughs> and now for Nurse John's response. Let's take a look. Hey, Missies, let's get ready with me for a nursing conference here in Canada. Put that. So we came to conference. The nurses partied last night. Somebody's CPAP is here. Is that a Filipino nurse? Pump beeps every freaking time. Okay, Bessie, we're here. The conference is about to start. So being able to put more content out there, showing what we go through, so that other people understand. October 2022, I started my first mental health leave, including a nine-stay-as-in patient uh, for trauma treatment. What do you think I did with my time in October 2022? Like TikTok. <laughs> and guess who I found? Me. <laughs> it's just a very sincere thank you for what you've been doing because uh, you gave me the first real smile I've had in a while. And a uh, significant belly laugh.
And I kid you not, that was his response. If there's anything that a lot of people can take from this, and even me myself, because I be in people's business, I just don't go on camera. I just look at it from a distance, is that you need to mind your own business. If you don't know the full story, mind your own business and or ask people to educate you in the process of things. That's why she took her video down. But like I said, yesterday is Digital Footprints. Once it sticks on the internet, it is there forever. People will screen record, people will save, people will repost. So be mindful of the things that you put out there for people to listen to. It might come back and bite you in the bum. Not that he needs my word, but Nurse John is in Rayleigh, North Carolina. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. If you guys are interested in his show, I think he's just gonna be bringing comedy and just being himself as well as educating people about nursing. He doesn't ask to be hated. I mean, no one asks to be hated, but you guys understand what I mean. He's literally just being himself and there's just different cultures, different things that other people do in other countries that you may not understand. Educate yourself on that. There are things that people do where I'm from that Americans won't understand. You just have to ask educate yourself. This was also a learning lesson for me, especially knowing that Filipino men act like Nurse John. They're just free spirited in my opinion. They're themselves, but then the Western world takes it and runs with it and claims it to be what it is not. Now I know y'all saw the intro where Nurse John was breaking his silence. Well, this is it. Hey besties, I'm here today to address all the allegations surrounding me, myself and I. It has been a while since I kept my mouth shut and I think it's time for me to shut down all these haters and yappers of the internet because as we know, there's so many yappers of the internet who spreads misinformation and before it all spreads out, I want you guys to hear it from me, from my own mouth, that it is true, the allegation that I do have a fat ass. Thank you.